Let's say that you need to check if multiple conditions are true in Excel, and we'll use this example worksheet. One note, when you have multiple conditions you're testing, you must determine whether you want to test if all of the conditions are true or if any of the conditions are true. We're going to go through an example of both of these situations, starting with if all of the conditions are true. In our chart, we're going to test three conditions. Did the employee work 30 hours or more? Did the employee work four days or more? And did the employee sell eight gift cards or more? If all of these three conditions are true, the employee will get a bonus. For employee number one, we're going to put the answer in cell E2. So left click on E2 so it's highlighted. Next, we type in an equal sign and then type in IF and a drop down box will appear. In the box, left double click on the first option, IF. From here, type in the letters AN and again a drop down box will appear. Left double click on AND. And next, we need to enter the test conditions. The first condition is did the employee work 30 hours or more, which are listed in column B. So to enter this, left click on cell B2, and then type in a greater than sign, followed by an equal sign, followed by 30. Then type in a comma. And the comma separates the conditions for Excel. And our first condition is complete. One note, we're using greater than or equal to because it's 30 hours or more. And here are the other operators that are used. For the second condition, did the employee work four days or more? Left click on cell C2, then type in a greater than sign followed by an equal sign, followed by four, then type in a comma. Now for the third condition, did the employee sell eight gift cards or more? We left click on cell D2, then type in a greater than sign followed by an equal sign, followed by eight. Then we type in a close parentheses, which closes off the AND function. Next, we type in a comma, then we need to enter into the function the output that we want if all of the conditions are true, which is going to be the word bonus. Since we're using text as the output, it must be surrounded by quotation marks. So type in quotation marks, then the word bonus, then another quotation marks, followed by a comma. Now for the output if any of the conditions are false, which is going to be the word no. So type in quotation marks, then the word no, then another quotation marks, followed by a close parentheses to close off the if function. So in our little formula, we have the three conditions, and then we have the output of true and the output of false. Now we can hit the enter key, and we have our output of bonus, as employee one did meet all of the conditions for the bonus. I'm going to use the fill handle and pull down to fill in the rest of the column, and we can see that only three employees got the bonus. Now for if any of the conditions are true, not all of the conditions. In column F, cell F2, I've written out the same formula, except we're using the OR function inside of the IF function rather than the AND function. What this is saying is that if condition 1, condition 2, or condition 3 are true, any of the three, the employee gets the bonus. I'll hit the ENTER key, and we see employee 1 does get the bonus. Again, I use the fill handle to fill in the rest of the column. And one last thing to cover. You can use text to check conditions against, as you see here in this function. However, the text must be surrounded by quotation marks, and an equal sign must be used, as you see here, where if cell B23 equals the text electronics and capitalization doesn't matter. I'll hit the enter key, and we get no as the output. Again, the fill handle, and we have our results. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.